13 minutes, they must have wished they'd stayed at home. Barry defender Gary Pallister didn't quite get his volley right, but his overhead kick was a goal all the way. And that will have put a few more pounds on his market value. It certainly made the home fans pleased. They paid their money in advance. With only three goals to date, lead scoring problems were all too plain. Lover handed Taylor a chance on a plate, but Pear's reactions were flawless as he dug his teammate out. It proved a crucial save. A minute into the second half, Burrow were two up and in brilliant style as well. Paul Kerr attacked the very heart of the Leeds defence and just kept on going. The result, a stunning goal. He only scored his first for the club last week. He's obviously got the taste. Meanwhile, still no sign of that football rarity, a Leeds goal. Another golden chance fell to Mumby, but Pears got in the way once again. Borough were now producing the pacey football that proved so successful in the third division. Kerr was off like a train again, and if only Ripley could have got there a fraction earlier, it could have been a classic goal. But Bernie Slaven was once again enjoying his new, slightly deeper role. His classy touch sets him apart even in the higher division. And at the end of a strength-sapping run, he could produce a shot to keep Mervyn Day at full stretch. By the end, though, Leeds hardly looked anybody's promotion favourites, and they still needed a helpful boot to threaten a goal. But threaten was all it did. In fact, promotion talk looks rather more justified on Teesside. But just how good a team have the Borough fans got? I don't know. They're still young. Uh, they're still learning, some of them. Um, but uh, we want to play. We've always said to our players that when we go out to play football, we'll try and get the ball down, we'll pass it around. We'll always try and play with a bit of style. I think that's important. It's, uh, it's something we're trying to create here um, with our team. Um, we just look at each game and, and, and take it from there. We don't say too much. We just say to the players, uh, we don't complicate them in, in what they do. Uh, but they are willing, they work hard, they have to work hard, they have to practice hard. We have a good rapport in our place.